In the year 2714, a new squad of operatives was chosen by the College of Illusion. These fools promptly went on to frustrate their DM at every opportunity. Today, still working together, because really, who else would work with them? They survive as adventurers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the Second Breakfast Club. Tony Kinney as Eddie Falzoni. Jess Owen as Adira Glow. Michael Cole as Urag. Jesse Wicks as Bill Quiverlance. Nico Rodriguez as your DM. Welcome back to the continuing tales of A Fool's Quest. All right, so when last we left our fools, they went to a party, fucked with the new uh, illusionists, uh, the Potters and the Bells. I thought it was really funny. Uh, Then they created a conga line, (laughs) summoned a monster, and fought the monster. Everybody got hammered. Then they went and did drunken things thereafter with either love interests or without love interests now. (laughs) (laughs) And Someone then they love. crashed for the night after some uh, late night shenanigans. And now you are awake and you're, um, you've are you got uh, a mission to go to New City. You're walking uh, with a group, uh, a military group that's led by a general named General Cadbury. Um, on the list of things to do, you need to get to... The Abjuration Nation, primarily, and you need to find out what happened with the Infinite Scroll of Abjuration. And there is a contact who is in New City, which is Valley Pond's sister, Jamie Pond. And Valley gave you guys a letter to give her um, from their stuff. So, outside of that, uh, yeah, that's where we left off. And it is bright and early morning the rooster's crow wakes you all you feel awful (laughs) all of you feel awful except for bill who acts like i feel the worst (laughs) he's got sympathy hangover (laughs) whoa it's me i wake up roll over and tell the lunch lady she's got to go home (laughs) (laughs) okay all right that's bad friend (laughs) (laughs) I'm gonna go back and throw a rock at that window (laughs) (laughs) crash your cymbals a few times yes I'm gonna start playing the cymbals loudly practicing a new song (laughs) suck it (laughs) asshole Delbert and I wake up like right in the middle of where they do their military drills Oh yeah, um, I'm wearing one of the soldiers' helmets and breastplates for whatever reason, and all kinds of <laughs> new bruises. And Delbert has, uh, I don't know, a toga, yeah. something. I don't know, yeah, something weird. Rocking a toga. Yep. Uh, next to you guys, sleeping slippers. on the ground, is a brown chicken and a brown <laughs> cow <laughs> that woke you up at dawn. They are buddies. They yep. follow us around they for do. some reason. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to be farmers. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be lots of these little babies running around. <laughs> oh, yeah, at this rate. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, it's first thing in the morning. Let's hit the uh, cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. So you and the lunch lady walk to the cafeteria. <laughs> I assume there's a lunch line in the soldiers camp, right? I'm going to go to that one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> They've got military uh, hot pockets, right? HP yeah. MREs. Yeah. They got some of the good ones, though. The guys the that I've ta- been talking to. Oh, yeah. They, they got you the good hot pockets. Yep, yeah. The stash. Yeah. Yep. Eating with the buddies. Yep. All right, so you all reconvene in the camp? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, no, you went to the breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't got breakfast with the lunch lady. 
Um, yeah, yeah I'm no. A, I'm a stagger to the camp like a zombie. She uh, she gives you two big helpings of, <laughs> of biscuits and gravy and fresh squeezed orange juice and some pancakes with real syrup. Yeah, <laughs> and fish sticks. Fresh squeezed by her, literally just jamming her fingers into an orange, <laughs> <laughs> crushing it. <laughs> Thinking the- about Bill the night before, she's like <laughs> squeezing oranges <laughs> till they explode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll, I'll I'll take it over to the place where you you wrap it all up and put it on a tray, and I'll take it over and lay it at Bill's wagon. <laughs> <laughs> the sword juice tastes angry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's pretty okay. pulpy. <laughs> yeah. So Bill, you wake make, up with breakfast served. <laughs> make up breakfast is the best breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're all back together in the in the war camp. Uh, zombie Eddie meanders on in. Kill it, kill it. Yeah, and uh, didn't, Adira's didn't, there. Didn't even use that ritual. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, did you want to try and learn that spell? That scroll? Yeah. While he's hungover? Uh, no. <laughs> I think I'll wait tonight. I think I'll wait tonight. <laughs> Fully recover. Yeah. Maybe try. Like he's not just gonna get drunk remember. again tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna like try it tonight and then open it up and the scroll's just blank. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out I drunk dialed the Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Who you earn? <laughs> How's it going? You still got the llama turkey? <laughs> the Dean shows up at the camp before we leave and goes, here's a fresh scroll for Eddie. <laughs> I don't know why you sent me a message last night saying you love me, but it's it's not mutual. <laughs> uh, so uh, I set my phone down. I might scroll down. Someone else must have picked it up. <laughs> it wasn't me, I swear. <laughs> he butt-scrolled him. <laughs> he butt-scrolled him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. so, shall we meet Cadbury? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, the sergeant, mean? Corporal, you. Hmm. Where's yes. The, where's General Cadbury? Oh, uh, this way. Yeah. Takes you. Takes you. Like, I, I told your friends this last night, but everybody just ignored me. <laughs> there was alcohol involved. We Nobody cares night. what you said last <laughs> night. Um, all right. So he takes you through the war camp up to this big, uh, like, building there. And uh, you do see that not only are there the 500 soldiers that are kind of milling about, there's also 100 uh, civilian support members. So there's some medics, there's some cooks, an armorer, a weapon master, etc. And, uh, Bill, we do need to find out if anyone in this war camp owes you a favor. So I need you to roll a charisma check. And... Uh, if it's uh, 79 or 729, 79. <laughs> then somebody owes you a small favor. Uh, you can create the NPC however you see fit. Or if it's a 10 plus, somebody in this is, is a new soldier and they owe you a big favor. 11. 11. Mm. Okay. So uh, not anything you have to cash in right now. They're going to be traveling with you all the way to New City, but you have that in your pocket. Some NPC that you can create owes you a large favor. Hey. Oh, yeah, they do. It's a god, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, only you mess with otherworldly deities. Uh, not true. <laughs> <laughs> So you may get up to the general's uh, building. It's like a little house structure that's there. Uh, there's about 10 rooms in there because some of his staff is in there as well. Um, so there's some lieutenants and stuff that you can see walking around. Um, but you see, or they take you in and, and they tell you where to go. And so you can make your way back to his office. And um, yeah, you can knock at the door of General Cadbury. And Yeah, I suppose I'll do that. Huh? So you knock, and he says, oh, Come on in. I go on in. Stumble on in. Yeah, General, I'm Eddie. Oh, Eddie, the high illusionist. It's yeah. nice to meet you. Yeah, th- yeah, right back at you. Yes, I, we're traveling together. <laughs> mm, that's the plan, all the way to New City. Yes. Mm. So, uh, yeah, about the traveling, is there anything you need from us? Well, uh... Just be on the look for any kind of wild magic events. None of my guys are uh, <laughs> and uh, magically attuned with the world. So no, I am. So. Right, right. So that's what I. That's what we would need from you. 
Okie dokie. Yeah, so I said, what, what, what do you need from us? Well, I just need to be ready by about uh, mid-afternoon today. I think we'll head out. Oh, I wonderful. And some sunglasses right now. Sunglasses. Oh, <laughs> you, you had a wild night, three didn't pairs. you? <laughs> three, three pairs. Three pairs. Four, oh. Delbert might. <coughs> Four pairs. Okay. Yeah, well, let me pull out my... That's fine. That's not true. He's got a hat. <laughs> We're all suffering together. Five, five pairs. How many will I need if I go Hydra? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're missing three heads, so <laughs> and an ear, so one of the pairs is going to be crooked. Yeah. <laughs> well, b- let me grab out from my sunglasses drawer. <laughs> <laughs> Here's six pairs of sunglasses. Use them as you see fit. It's actually just the disposal Perfect. box of 3D glasses that people. Yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> they're all flimsy and shit. <laughs> they're all used. Like mine's ripped. <laughs> I put them on anyway. <laughs> Got a piece of tape in the middle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Urag just sits in the back of the room going, wow, that's kind of neat. <laughs> <laughs> Moving his hand back and forth like it's 3D. Um, well, you I didn't put the glasses on yet. Yeah. <laughs> I am going to go get my people around, but I do have one of my lieutenants that I would like to uh, delegate to you and put at your disposal during this trip. Uh, Lieutenant Kilo, come in here. And so you see a, a lieutenant come in. He's like, hey, hey are you guys the uh, illusionists? Yeah, that's uh, us. Second Breakfast it, Club? It, it, yep. Yeah. Second it's, Breakfast Club. He gives you like a very formal salute. He's like, my, uh, my name's Lieutenant Kilo. It's really nice to meet you. Oh. Hi. Nice to meet you too, Lieutenant Kilo. I am at your disposal for this Is trip. he handsome? He <laughs> is handsome, actually. He's a dashing uh, young man. He's got kind of long hair, though, uh, like just past the shoulders a little bit, um, which is very rare for like the military group. But like I said, they're not as like not not as rigid as modern day, like for yeah. appearance and stuff, right? A little bit more chill, um, but still, like he he's got a few piercings in his ears. Um, he's very muscular though and he's wearing like a like a breastplate but that's kind of it like that that's it for his armor like just he's not wearing like greaves or anything like that you know no giant helm or anything just a breastplate that he's wearing and he's got like a a shirt uh, like a (coughs) button-up shirt under it it's like rolled up to around his you know elbows and he's just very casual looking yeah but he looks very it's handsome. like business casual, but his yeah. business is killing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to elbow Delbert. <laughs> Give him a wink. Hmm. <laughs> he gives me a nod. <laughs> <laughs> That's because he's scared of you. <laughs> Justifiably so. I still don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, That's how rumors get started. <laughs> she hurts me so good. <laughs> <laughs> so I will, you know, take you around, show you around the camp. Uh, and I heard you have two carts that are coming with us, correct? And yeah. We yes. needed horses. We will. Yeah. So we've got horses um, that will be able to work for your carts. Uh, you can show me where the carts are, and we can get those hooked up in a part of the caravan. Do you have a place you'd like to ride in the caravan? Would you like to be in the front, in the back? Oh, I was going to ride in my cart. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Oh, That's but a- just the middle is probably fine. I mean, okay. that way, if anything happens at either end, we can get there fastest, right? All right. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, so any of these grunts know to uh, follow any orders that you give. As long as they don't directly conflict with something that the general gave, um, but I'll be able to—I'll he- be here to help you with that. Kind of make sure that you know where we're at for protocol. But as far as like basic, you know, hey, we need this. I'd like you to do this. You guys should go stand there. Uh, for the most part, they'll listen to your direction. Good. Well, so if I were to say, try to start a conga line. <laughs> <laughs> I just, no. I just need to test out whether or not I'm a wizard. <laughs> I almost died the last I think time. You're the warlock, you, say. you did not. 
<laughs> I don't know where you come up with these crazy stories. <laughs> you gotta you gotta watch out for that one. She's a bit sometimes, you know. Oh, oh. I get it. Absolutely, she does I get it. Seem to exaggerate her wounds pretty often. It's a lot, right? I think she. I think she. I think she like puts draws some of those scars on because I don't know where they're coming from. She's never been hit. <laughs> Time to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to turn her invisible. with this muscle memory. You know? <laughs> <laughs> sun's low! Sun's low! <laughs> I'm just going to tackle you. <laughs> What's the same one? <laughs> pineapple. <laughs> After last night's bloodbath, it's pineapple. <laughs> 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 All right, so he, he takes you around and he starts showing you that he, he introduces you to the armor, introduces you to the weapon master, introduces you to the cooks, introduces you to like ever the medics um, that are there, uh, just just all the soldiers. He's he, he is pleased to find out that you act, some of you actually already know some of the soldiers because you were here the night before or <laughs> you have existing relationships and stuff. So we uh, got the private tour last night. <laughs> I already know what size you are. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. <clears throat> <But>. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Whatever nope. it is, nope. Can't take it back. Can't take it back. <laughs> we've got this hat, so it could be a surprise. <clears throat> oh. You gave the hat away. <laughs> yeah. That was a great hat, though. <laughs> all right. So you all kind of get settled in. He gets the horses for your carts. Um, you know, he shows you where the hot pockets are for the travel rations should you get hungry. And, um, yeah, he asks you if you need any ammunition or weapons or anything like that. I'm good. Good, good. Right. Yeah, I think we're okay. Maybe just an extra sharpening stone for my axe. Or two. Okay. So, yeah, he, he requisitions some of those things for you. Axes. What? You do have two axes. So. Mm, I'm going to be doing twice the damage, mm-hmm. which means twice the upkeep. Can I... Yeah. So who can I have, like, sharpen my axes for me? That is such a tedious task. I think Kilo should do it. <laughs> <laughs> He's at our disposal. Yeah. He yep. is at your disposal. Requisitioned. Be disposed. <laughs> <clears throat> yep. Axe sharpener. But do it in front of me. Air quotes. <laughs> do it slowly. <laughs> do it Sexy. <laughs> Make the grinding noise. <laughs> I need you to sharpen my axes, but they have special requirements. You have to do it perpendicular and topless. <laughs> yes. It puts the oil on the wet stone. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> all right, so they get all the camp around. Everybody's good to go. Noon comes around. Is there anything else you guys want to do before noon, or are you just... We're ready to go. No, we're going to take the ferries across, start heading down. Ask quick, Bill how breakfast was. Quick dinner, and then... It was great. Why do you ask? She Why do you bring that to you? <laughs> mm, I'm going to go vomit for unrelated reasons. He <laughs> said <laughs> <laughs> she asked me to bring it. Who asked you? Uh, Gladys? Oh, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Bertha? He's just guessing anyway. Uh, honestly, I didn't get her name. <laughs> LL Kuwait. LL Kuwait. Okay. <laughs> we break camp. We start heading to uh, the Bryn Meyer Dam. You guys take the ferry across. Um... Uh, pretty much everybody just stays out of your way, right? You already know we're we are just leaving town. We don't have to talk with anyone. So take the ferries across. There's uh, um, some people that, that are there to help you guys unload the equipment and get everyone moving. Um, but, yeah, you hit the road and you start heading down to the... Oh, wait. At some point I had to say goodbye to Delbert because he's not coming along, I'm sure. He's coming along for a part of it. Okay, right And on. then he's going to go wait, south you once, you okay. are, yeah, once you guys oh, are... Yeah, once you guys are coming Probably until we there. get to Bren Dam, right? Uh, where, where, no, wait, here's, where's he from? Lisa's uh, hold. Lisa's yeah, hold. Lisa's hold. Yep. Yeah. So you're you're gonna be going his way. He's gonna go south when you guys go north along the mountain range. So it'll be just past kind of where you uh, fought the spam monster. <laughs> um, so yeah, kind of down toward the bottom of the mountains and stuff. You'll be able to 
She'll, he'll nice. split up ways with you. Yep. Lots of brown chicken, brown cow. Yep. Yep. You get, a, get a few nights of that before anything wild happens. You got a special guest. All right. So you guys are walking down. Now, speaking of in case anything wild happens, <laughs> it's time for some wild magic rules. Yes. Because we are traveling. What so, are we on? D20, right? D20, yep. And tw- uh, 19 or 20 gets it, right? It, just one person rolls it, right? No, nope, not oh. this one. All of you do. Oh, I got uh, a 14. Uh, uh, Five. Eight. Eight as well. And what'd you get? 14. 14. Okay. So no <laughs> wild magic events happen. Which is probably good because you just summoned a monster. <laughs> <laughs> and like, that, that was pretty wild. Of, yeah. Our heroes will return after these messages. Hey there, it's Nico again. If you'd like to skip the ads next time, as well as support our show, you should check out our Patreon. All levels get ad-free listening, where you get to skip all the commercials, and then there are a bunch of other features, depending on what tier you go with. Check out the link at www.afoolsquest.com. And now that the commercials are out of the way, it's time to dive back into the foolishness. So you're traveling and Lieutenant Kilo is at your disposal, but he travels with you guys and he, he asks a lot of questions. Like he, he really wants to get to know you. He's asking about the, your, your travels that you just went on before. He's asking about the demons that you fought. Uh, he's asking about the magic items, the cursed items that you were finding out in the, out in the wilderness. He's taking in as much information as you guys are willing to, uh, to give him. Seems very well debriefed for somebody we just met. Mm-hmm. Yep. And he, and you don't have to give him a bunch of information, but he will he will ask as much as he can. Every time he asks, I'm going to recite my poems to him. Yeah. Okay. Like this is what happened, and then just over and over again. Just I've got a wonderful story about that, but it's always the same one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give him the, you know just gesture at Bill and, and nod. <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> Just word for word, inflection, intonation, the exact same every time. And every time, I'm going to expect him to react as though it was the first time I told the story. Like, isn't that awesome? <laughs> the fourth time you said it. I'm Stop hogging the kilo. <laughs> I'm actually trying to run him off. <laughs> yeah, he he just kind of runs with it. Like he's not actually put out by it at all. He seems very interesting for. For one, a soldier. He's different than the other soldiers that you know. And he doesn't seem bothered by things that you think would annoy a common person. There's something strange about him, for let's, sure. Let's start asking him some questions. So, Kila, how long have you been with the uh, the armed forces there? Oh, uh, 15 years. 15 years? Yep. What Work, you, worked not, my way up to lieutenant. That's interesting. You're not, uh, you're not equipped the same as any of the other soldiers. Oh yeah, no. I mean, is that just because you're an officer? Or? Yeah, I mean, it comes to have it comes with some privileges. Mm. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. I only need the short sword. That's all I need. I'm good. Short sword and a breastplate. And a breastplate. Yep. Yep. Those other guys all got that armor and that those 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 axes or whatever. Yeah, you know, I mean, they uh they they trained with them. I you know I I learned. Uh, you know, a while ago about how to use a short sword, so I prefer that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I actually, uh, uh, really enjoy it, though. I really enjoy the military life. It's a good time. It seems to agree with you. Other yeah. than, you know, your hair's a little longer than you typically see in the military. That's... Yeah, you know, I I asked the, the, you know, general if that was fine, and he didn't like it at first, but I, I really kind of talked him into it. And I'm like, you know, if, I've never given you a problem. The first time I give you a problem, I'll cut my hair. You know, so. Seems pretty fair. Yeah, but that hasn't happened yet. No, that's exemplary service, I guess. Uh, well, thank you. I appreciate that recognition. Yeah. Way, way to validate. Sounds like you've earned it. Oh, appreciate that. Appreciate that. Working your way up and everything. Yeah. Uh, so, I was going to tell you guys, um, you know, after all the stuff, uh, I, you know, know you guys had a rough night the other night, um, but we did bring some alcohol along with us and, and some, some, uh, you know, golden leaf, if y'all want to, 
ever, you know, smoke a little too. You don't say. I do say, I do say. So, um, you know, got some guys. I mean, it's technically we're not really as well as we bringing it, but it's a long trip and you know, it, it keeps spirits up amongst the teams. Yeah, yeah, I understand completely. I, 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 I think we could all do with a little bit here. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll, I'll make sure to bring some by uh, as we set up camp. Yeah, it'd be great. That's right. I just earned us some grog. <laughs> I, I think you went to question him, and instead you got got. <laughs> I think you just real life failed a charisma check. <laughs> I know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Greg's a little questionable about this guy, but he's not going to say anything at the present time. Okay. I'm going to watch okay. him for like another day or so. Yeah. Oh, Urag. What it... Uh, do a wisdom roll. Do a wisdom roll for Urag. Just as a... Seven. Seven? Okay. All right. Uh, so, you definitely... Uh, you feel like there's something different about his life force because mm. you can sense the life force of everything all around you, right? Um, you definitely can see that there are some differences in him, but you can't pinpoint what it is. And it doesn't really seem evil. It just seems... Or good, right? Like, it just seems different. And you're not under... You're not sure why. Yeah. There's just something off about him, so just keep an eye on him. Yep. Yeah. Is there any way that Delbert and I could convince him in like some pillow talk to spill the beans? <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, he'll he'll definitely uh, hook up. But yeah, make a charisma roll. See if you get anything out of that. Ooh, an eight. All right. So an eight. What do you want to know? Why the hair? Like, why does he want this? Why does he want to keep his hair long? Oh, I've had this hair this long for the majority of my life and i know it's grown out of style now but uh, for me you know i i really enjoy it and yeah there's just something about having someone do your hair for you a nice wash and and you know then they braid it it's it's one of my favorite things ever so um you know I, I, actually, you know, would one of you be willing to do that? And he's going to make a charisma roll against you. <laughs> that is an 11. <laughs> Delbert will definitely braid your hair. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's fantastic. Delbert also has long hair. <laughs> but his was earned from battle. Because he never has to cut. Yeah? Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, well, I'll tell you. We'll do it. We'll do a hair washing day. <laughs> Wash and braid each other's hair. It'll be great. You're having a spa day. He's about to steal your, steal your man. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. Yeah, that was a pretty good charisma check. <laughs> <laughs> We're into that. <laughs> Turns out. You can't steal what's given. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What else can we get from him? Hmm. I've gotten no weird vibes about him. <laughs> He's just very pretty. And friendly. He is very pretty and friendly. And not intimidated by you at all. Which yeah. is something you've noticed about most of the other soldiers. Is that there is an intimidation factor from high illusionists. Or, or illusionists, you know. Hmm. So. Not at all. He's chill as a cucumber where's he from you ask him that yeah i'm gonna need a different charisma roll then because you got an eight for that one i i yeah <laughs> yeah but where are you really from <laughs> seven okay so a seven he will answer um but he'll hold back i you know i'm i'm not from here uh, when i first originally I'm from near the Dairy Coast, actually. Little village in the mountains. Real hard to find. Originally from the Dairy Coast, what does that mean? Is that where you were born? Oh, you know, my parents traveled all around a lot. I'm not exactly sure where I was born. Um, but my, my first memories here 
um, you know, we're in we're near the Dairy Coast. Yep, in in uh, in the Transmutation Nation. So your family was nomadic. Were they part of a tribe? No, my dad just did a lot for work, so he he traveled a lot, and uh, and my mom and I, uh, we tagged along, but uh, she was huh, she was a handful on her own. So I ended up, you know, moving out when I was young. Well, how young is young? Oh, God. I can't even tell. Uh, <laughs> You're like what, 24 now? Oh, thank you. I wear it well. Marry me. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> moved out. What is young? How young is young? That's all you're getting with a seven. <laughs> He'll give you a wink. <laughs> Never ask a gentleman his age. <laughs> I think you're full of shit, dude. <laughs> hmm. Well, I think that take, that's enough for me, my attempts. So are we all going to drink together tonight? I mean, it seems like a plan. Where the fuck He's are we? He's bringing us some grog or whatever. Where are the... Can make some muffins? Right. Make some muffins? <laughs> I could make some muffins. Some friendship muffins? I don't think I have to. Dude was just trying to do bumps of gold. Here, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll just fucking cut a line up on a mirror and give it to him. <laughs> yeah, try this. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So, he's bedroom time with uh, Delbert and Adira is over. And, uh, yeah, he goes out, does rounds with, uh, to, to talk to some of the men and um, comes back. Every, all the soldiers love him, too. Like, it's not just, just you guys. He just gets along with everyone and he ends up coming back by and he's like hey you know got a got a case of beer and uh uh you know got got some golden leaf if you guys want to hang out around a fire yeah come on over yeah hell yeah all right so he sets it up hands a beer off to each one of you guys you know stuffs a pipe with the golden leaf lights it up hands it around well, we're all going to be very friendly. Yep, we yeah. are. <laughs> Except for me, I built up an immunity. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That means you got to ask all the hard questions, because we're going to be fucking wasted. <laughs> is he giving us muffins? <laughs> <laughs> he is. <laughs> he is. <laughs> I'm going to drink my muffin. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. You yeah. Can't. You can't bullshit a bullshitter. <laughs> so the ones who drink and smoke, you are definitely much more uh, open and chatty with him. And uh, But he is with us as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Unless he's also immune. I would have shared the information with you guys that I got from the pillow talk. Uh, so before so am I aware that they're getting weird vibes by him now then? I, I mean, you'll probably be aware that Adira is if she shared that information with you. Yeah, but... Plus, you just saw him drug us. <laughs> yeah, you know that he. Yeah. Well, he's he's not right. that's my dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, he could just be trying to be friendly. That's not what a soldier. That's all is. I use it for. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's not soldier-like behavior. So I'm just gonna ask. So uh, where'd you come across gold leaf? Oh, I bought it back in the town. Uh, back in. Uh, no, Forsaken City. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Got, uh, I don't know many other people who partake, that's all. Yeah, it's not very common, but, um, Yeah, it's, uh, it's weird that you do when it's, uh, it's a thing that I specifically do. It's just strange to run into other people who do. I mean, coincidence has happened, obviously. Oh, how did you come across doing it? Like, where did, is it a learned skill? It, it's it's part of being a bard. It, uh, it helps to you know loosen the crowds up a little bit, get them uh, get them invested in the storytelling. Not yeah. that I need those sorts of tricks, obviously, but you know, it's a it's a trick of the trade, obviously. You know, oh, you know. right. Yeah. 
Get them like, real invested. It's like juggling. I would never do it. It's beneath me, but I know how. I have oh, to. For sure. For sure. So, yeah. yeah. So storytelling, you just use the symbol, get them to smoke a little <laughs> bit, and uh, yeah. tell, you know, bump out a rhythm and then tell your stories? Sometimes. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes there's alcohol. Most of the time it's just... Uh, Gold leaf edible. Sometimes there's sock puppets. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's, it's really just, you know, the majesty sometimes that is me. My presence is more than me. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's oh. that's cool. Why are you... Wait a minute. <laughs> we're, we're, you said you've been uh, you've been serving in the military for 15 years? Yeah, yeah. All of them in the Forsaken City, huh? Yeah, yep, all in the Forsaken City. Yep. It's just interesting. I'd say it seems like you've risen pretty high, and I... Uh, I rub elbows with most of the elites. It's just surprising I haven't heard your name before. You know, you know I stuck pretty close to the military. I didn't really branch out for, for a while. Like, I just really dug dug in and, and uh, you know, did a lot of working out with the groups. Uh, spent a lot of time with the different soldiers that were there. You know, it's just... Um, name one. Oh, well, there was Roger, and that's Cliff over there, and that's Maggie. Yeah, I mean... I can well, have them come over to our ones. camp if you want. Oh, yeah, I mean... Eh? They're present. What about ones that are not here? Oh, you mean like General Mills? <laughs> exactly. Oh. Yeah. Captain Crunch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, you know, I just, uh, it's just really nice. It's, uh, it's interesting meeting uh, somebody of a like mine. It's just really surprising. Somebody of your caliber hadn't crossed my radar before, that's all. Whoa, well, we're just crossing paths now and i'm that's, overjoyed this is that's wonderful true. and uh and to uh speak frankly as in the skill what do you most desire <laughs> <laughs> i should probably you get to ask me something back but i don't mm-hmm. know if that, it doesn't come with a roll does it no it doesn't no you just get yeah. to do that <laughs> it's like an episode of loose for i most desire to be amused and to have a good time Good to say. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's lucky. I'm amusing. He gets to ask a question. Yeah. If he wants to, I don't know if he doesn't have to. No, no. Um, but he seems to like asking us questions. He so. does. He does. But he will have noticed that you that you did that charm. He will have noticed that. It's not like a. I guess everything's kind of magical about the bar, though. Yeah. Yeah. How can I get you to tell me about those cursed items you found? Oh, if you want to know about the cursed site, well, the thing being is Eddie kind of runs everything here. So if you want to know more about the details of those things, that's something you'd have to get Eddie say so on. He's really the one with the ability to classify and declassify things. Hmm. That's a that's valid. That's very valid. All right. So what, so what about it, Eddie? You think you could tell me about those cursed items that you found out in the field? What do you want to know about them? I just have a fascination. As a child, I've always loved hearing stories about knights and adventures, going out and stumbling across magic items and cursed items. And, you know, and then as I've risen up through the ranks, I get to see more and more magic items, right? Well, it's, I like, mean, it's like a hat, and when you put it on, it makes some random part of your body get bigger. That's Or real. smaller. Or smaller. Yeah, it just changes size. That's fantastic. Did you have the hat? No, we gave it away. Oh. It's a pretty good prank. I know what that does. Should have seen that dude's donk, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. like, is it cake? Bad <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, well. Maybe someday soon you'll tell me about the warlock and their cursed items, too. No, the warlock. No, his stuff wasn't really cursed. It's kind of heavenly, the staff here. That's where I got this. Oh, really? And yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. cursed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, shoot, where'd you get your stuff? Your breastplate, your short sword, they're, they're different than the army stuff here. It looks a little special. Well, the uh, the breastplate I actually had made by the armorer over there. It's mm. it's not magic or anything like that. It's just uh, just a nice breastplate that I had. I specifically wanted these runes on there. They're just like protection runes, but you know, like I said, it's not really magic. It doesn't really do anything for me. Yeah. You just like the look of the room. I just really do, yeah. Yep, I feel yep, that. Yep. I, I, everyone's got their aesthetic. I mean, yeah. Bill makes fun of me, my black and white office, but well, helps me think out loud. It's hard to argue with Bill. I mean, he's so stylish. He is, and he does wear some good hats. Yeah, the best but, hats. Yeah, that's only half the question, though. The sword. 
The sword was a gift to me from my father. And that is magic in nature. Yeah. 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 Gift from your father. So your, your parents still around or are you... No, yeah. they're no longer here. He's an orphan. Uh, I'm gonna just take a take a slow step back. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yeah. What other cursed items? Let's see. We had that uh, the thing that made people people want to eat each other or whatever. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Wind yeah. chimes. Yeah, the wind mm. chimes. Valley killed a guy though. So it was cannibal crazy. wind chimes. Did, how did you defuse those? We. We sent them to another dimension. Them. <laughs> yeah, that's what we'll say. We, diffu- we diffuse them. Don't you worry about it. Everybody but who read gave a different. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just was, slowly uh, patrolling the camp area as a cat. <laughs> the bridge, too. That thing was cool. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was the magical bridge. So what does your short sword do? He it says it's magical. What kind of magic does it have? Oh, it's just um, a few enchantments that are on there. There's like, you know, one, I never really have to sharpen it. Um, so it was nice to sharpen your axes earlier. That was a good time. Don't really do that a whole lot. Uh, and then I also it can it slice too. through any metal. Um, and it turns into shadow when it strikes flesh. Interesting. And severs right through the body. Very terrifying. Yeah. So yeah. you never had to sharpen it. So like, how long have you gone without sharpening that sword? Oh man, I, I've never sharpened it since my dad gave it to me. Not one time. Yeah, how long when was that? Oh, Precisely. Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys really do want to know about a guy's age, don't you? Uh, <laughs> why is it well, keeping it Lieutenant, secret? Well, Lieutenant, you got some, you got some drugs that you oh. just fed us. <laughs> and we know how that works. Bill does it all the time. <laughs> uh, real quick. Side, but uh, when he's talking about the sword, he's described enough of it. It's not, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't fit into any like stories of heroes, past, or villains, or anything like that, would it? Ooh, do you have to make a roll for that? Yeah, we have yeah, to. yeah, but make that a would be my area for that. That's why I wanted to. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> next question. Uh, it's six plus. Let me see what I'm supposed to add to that. Oh, it's. It's if I if I encounter something covered by my bardic lore, I can ask a question about it. So I'm I'm sorry, I would not roll for that. I misunderstood what I was looking at. Would it not? I would. Um. So it would just be I could ask a question about it if it was covered by that area of expertise, but it wouldn't necessarily be anything specific, I guess. Um. Mm. Well, make um. I mean, uh, what's your primary stat? Charisma. Yeah. Make a charisma roll to see if you've heard about it. I've we'll got do a, that. The charisma roll would be nine. Then. Nine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so. You have heard about it, but I would. But with a nine, you're just not confident enough to. It rings a bell. I've heard something yeah. about it, but I don't know what it is. Okay. You could. It, it, it's enough of a trigger that you might want to find something to research about it later. Okay. Like there's, an, it's it's stirred enough for any of for there, but not enough that you're confident to be like, is this blade? Yeah. You know this. Gotcha. So. Okay. okay. Cool. Uh, I like that little so I know something about it feature um oh but I also um all right I'm just gonna I'm gonna play everybody a song while you guys chat I'm just gonna do bard stuff over in the corner and I'm gonna um attempt to also clear everybody's mind of their enchantments <laughs> uh except for his obviously but I'm gonna try and target Eddie specifically first while you're talking to him so under cover of his song as I'm rounding the camp it's a seven oh. So it spreads. So it spreads, but yeah, I didn't just sober you up. Mm. I don't think I have to be particularly concerned with sobering him up anyways. Because Yeah, so it's just the one song and everybody gets sobered up from yep. it. And they're like, oh, it's such a good beat, man. Like, such a good beat. Damn it, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just playing a song. I'm not drunk anymore. Hey, wait a second. You drugged us. <laughs> Well, you knew what it did. In That's fairness, true. we drugged ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> we smoked it. That's true. We voluntarily partake. <laughs> partake? Ureg, you were out patrolling? It, well, as I as I round where uh, Eddie's at, I'll just sort of lean in. Who's his dad? Uh, you know, tell us more about your dad. You've been talking about him a lot. Uh, I mean, not much to say. He's passed on now. Uh, he is it, you know? A good man, a good man. Uh, he, he was a warrior for a little bit. That's how he got the sword, you know. Uh, What's his name? Yeah. Um, 
his name? Is yeah. that what you asked? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Legitimately, uh, I didn't uh, hear yeah, what was his name? <laughs> Not stalling for time at all. No, <laughs> that's not, a, not a suspicious pause Let at me. all. No, I, I was... Uh, Spit that shit out, man! I was orphaned at a young age, so I never learned my parents' names. That young age for you was... I was... 11 and a half. There you go. See? Easy. A number. That's all I want. <laughs> yeah, I was 11 and a half, and I never learned my parents' names because I, because I called them sir and ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> ah, strict parents, right? Uh, yeah. So um, three quarters. Oh. They never would have gave me a sword. Yeah. So they were murdered by orphans. So. Uh, could have fought Recruiting. Recruiting. had the sword. Yeah. Yeah, recruiting. That what happened with yours too? Yeah. No, they weren't. Um, they weren't murdered by orphans. No, just uh, just one day they were here, one day they were gone. Uh, you yeah. just stumbled into your orphanitude. Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, terrible. So mom's dead too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> A not awkward conversation. All right, so this guy's <laughs> one of the first people, right? <laughs> All right. Maybe stop by and talk to uh, Cadbury. Really knows what to do. I say not, not in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad idea. He'll go do rounds again. He'll, yeah. you know, after he hang out for a little bit and chit chat and stuff, he'll go out and talk with some of the other guys. And you can hear him. You can hear him, like he'll go to he'll sit down at a little campsite and uh, around a fire with some people, and then they all just bust out laughing, right? And something funny happens, and, and uh, he's telling stories. He's very animated. And he's sharing drinks. He gets more beer from one place and delivers it to another, and um, just having a great time. That dude said his biggest desire was to be entertained, and he's in the army. It's a weird combination of things to know about somebody. Yeah. We should go ask Kedzko. Yeah. Okay, let's go talk to Cadbury. Okay. So you guys are sobered up. So, yeah, you can make your way over to Cadbury. He is... Uh, in his war tent, so he's got like a big tent that's typically near the middle as well. You guys were traveling in the middle, you said. He's also near the middle. He's got a big war tent, and he's got like maps and stuff. And uh, he's got uh, rough drawn etchings of New City uh, from what you can see. You know, like It looks familiar, and he's been adding things here and there. Um that weren't there while you were there, but like you can see new construction and stuff like that. And he's trying to come up with designs. You, you notice this. He's like coming up with new designs, like moving things around on this war table on how he would like to better reinforce New City when he gets there. So that's what you guys walk in on. Um, you know, he's got a couple of people guarding his tent, but they don't even stop you or block your path at all. You can just walk on by them and into the tent. Hmm. Right. General, General Cadbury. Oh, hey, Eddie. Yeah, uh, just curious about uh, Lieutenant Kilo. He's an interesting fella. Oh, right. He is an interesting fellow, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Russia. Kind of, kind of stands out from from the rest of the soldiers, which is unusual because you know they usually go for the uniform look, and that's. Yes, well, yeah, he does a good job. He's a good, a good soldier. Is he? How hmm. long has he been in the army? Oh, well, he's only been under me for five years, but I think his uh, 15 years is on the resume. Hmm. Where'd he come from? Well, I, th- I think he's over from uh, another nation. I'm pretty sure it was a transmutation nation. And he's... So he's worked for you for five years? Yes. Personally known him that long? Yes. Been a good soldier the whole time? Did... Did you assign him to us, or did he ask to be assigned to us? Oh, well, it's funny you mention that. Well, he did ask to be assigned to you, yeah. Hmm. It's interesting. What do you know about his sword? It's magic in nature, he said. <laughs> he wanted to use that instead of the standard military equipment, and who am I to argue with a magic weapon? If we could have more of them, <laughs> wars would be so easy. What about those runes on his breastplate? Oh, he said they were abjuration runes, but non-magical. Decorative. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. 
You guys don't keep any supplies of scrolls or anything around here, do you? We have a few... The medics have a few healing scrolls. Okay. Uh, but nothing... No, nothing uh, too wild. magic or anything of that sort. I happen to have a scroll of detect magic. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, I guess I should learn it. Seem... Well... Learn to cast it from the scroll. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's what I thought you meant. Yeah. I assume that you didn't have to clarify it. There's no other option that it could have been. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to study the scrolls before you can cast the spell. You can't just do it. Well, how would I know that? I play yeah, I the guess. symbols. I don't even play a real... Uh, I don't even I use mean, scroll. <laughs> <laughs> don't even play a real instrument. <laughs> Many chords on the other ones. I'm gonna go. <laughs> don't even read music. You I'm gonna go back to the cart. <laughs> read it. And <laughs> I'm gonna try to copy detect magic into my spellbook. Okay, so as you're leaving, he's like, "Well, before you go, you you're really good with uh <laughs> with like cities and stuff, right?" I do. Really? Oh, Bill, I'm Eddie. Oh. <laughs> we know. <laughs> really good with most things. Why? Well, I will, you have been to New City before. Can you help me update some of this map? And I want to make sure that I'm in alignment. I'm getting some chagalls as we travel, but I don't know how well updated the information is. Sure, I'll help you update the map. Do I know what... I, I mean, I know what it looks like, I assume, right? So yeah, I'll, you know what it looks like, yeah. Yeah, I'll help him update everything. Yeah. I'll hang you had that, like, Newport talent or whatever it is. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Newport and store. So I know everything that's changed in the city as soon as I arrive. Yep. And so I would say that you have a pretty good handle on what the city looked like when you left yeah. it. Yeah. For I'll, that uh, feature to be relevant. So Yeah, mm-hmm. that seems likely. Yeah, I'll, uh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I'll help him redesign it how it is. Okay, cool. So you fix a few things, and he asks you some opinions about, like, reinforcement and certain walls and stuff, and uh, just gets your opinion. He, like, pretty chill about it, and then he's like, oh, look at the time. I'm sorry. I'm keeping you all night. You must be exhausted. Yeah, that's what I am. I had a very bad night's sleep last night What with the hangover. Oh. So, yeah, <laughs> well, if you need anything at all, feel free to come on down here. Thank you for your assistance. Yeah, of course, Cadbury. Anytime. All right, we'll head out. I'll go find Eddie and see how he's doing with his spell studying. Okay. Urag, what were you doing? Just scouting around, just kind of prowling around through camp as a cat. Okay. Um, would I know where Kilo's tent would be? Uh, you could probably go find it. Um, Turns into a bloodhound. <laughs> I'll let you either do a charisma check for uh, for talking to someone, but you're in cat mode, so it might be difficult. Or I will let you do a dexterity check to be stealthy and kind of stealth your way around and find. He can. He still got the Quiznos lips as a cat. <laughs> <laughs> the Quiznos lips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll go dexterity and go for stealth. Okay. Eight. Okay. So you do find where his tent is, but it takes a while. So you're kind of going in and out. And you also notice that it appears to be warded. The tent itself has like a ward on the entrance. Hmm. Um, Does it have the same kind of odd feeling that uh, exudes from him? No. 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 Different. Yep. Different. But, I mean, so a ward like that would be an abjuration spell. Right. So right. And he's got abjuration runes on his yep. breastplate, too. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, just kind of make a, a couple laps, get the general gist of, you know, if, if there's any gaps in it or windows or... No, it's a it's a, like a standard cloth tent. It's got some. It's got probably seven poles, one in the center, six around it to make it kind of you know. So it's kind of circular as a tent. Um, there's only one entrance in and out, no windows or anything to see in, and that one entrance. It's like I said, a cloth flap, but that cloth flap has a ward on it that you noticed. You don't know what that ward will do because you said you got an eight, right? Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. you don't know what that ward will do. Yeah. Um, no, I spent enough time around Eddie to know not to mess with it. Yeah. So, all right, I'll just go back to uh, Dollar Camp. Yeah, cool. And uh, did you know his tent is warded? Is it? Yeah. 
some sort of abjuration magic, I assume. Yeah, that'd be my guess. All right, should I roll to see if I learn the spell? Yeah. <laughs> That's a nat 12. Nat 12, yeah. You learned the spell. Should I roll it again? Oh, yeah. It's only a six that time. Oh. Still. Uh, so you learn it. I'll say learn it in half the time it normally takes you to learn a spell. This one just clicks. Yeah. So I... I'm going to prepare that. But I don't... Uh, yeah, I can just change my spells prepared just whenever as long as I have some time to... Yeah, to focus on it. Yeah, so yeah, I'm going to change my prepared spells so that I've got that. Uh, Sweet. Detect magic prepared. And then I'm going to cast that and wander around the camp a little bit. Okay. Keep an eye on uh, Lieutenant Kilo if I happen to see him. See how magical he looks. Okay. Um, so you cast it. There, there are... M- other soldiers have like a few little magic trinkets too like um you know there's one that's got like a ring on like a ring of protection on um, yeah like good luck turns one's got like a family that's a seven to on. cast it so i am gonna forget the spell afterwards oh okay okay cool how long does it last um i don't know D and D is like ten minutes. It just says briefly, yeah. I'd say about yeah. ten minutes or so. Uh, yeah, I'll stick with ten minutes then. So yeah, so you cast it, and you walk around. Um, let's high or low to see if you come across Kilo. High. Low. So you don't catch up with him uh, by the uh, by the time you do catch up with him, the detect magic spell has right. has been exhausted. Well, uh, we got a long trip. I could try again tomorrow. Yeah. All right. So you guys. Uh, oh, Adira, are you doing anything before the end of the night? <sighs> nope. All right. Well, you guys all call it a night. Crash, and uh, here's probably a good place to stop. This concludes this episode of A Fool's Quest. Join us next time for more fun and daring adventure. Thank you for listening. And don't forget to like, subscribe, review, and comment on your favorite platform to listen to A Fool's Quest. Oh, we had a crossbow that was cool like that. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. <laughs> a crossbow, you say? No, no not only actually, <laughs> it never existed. Yeah, never not only. Oh, yeah, not. you don't know. You forgot. Yeah. Redacted. Mm-hmm. Redacted. Yeah, redacted. <laughs> it was redacted. It was redacted from reality. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the one time you were uh, gaslit by the game. <laughs> you said you said yeah. you've never sharpened that. How long have you gone without sharpening that sword? <laughs>